What's happening everyone? It's Theris back. It's been a while, I know. Uh, I've been kind of busy with uh, things lately, so I haven't had time to post reviews and make videos and things, but I figured if I was going to make another one, might as well make it big. So, here's big. We got Prime One's Megatron from the Transformers franchise. Michael Bay's uh, love child, I guess you could say. Uh, just got this in a few days ago. Haven't uh, been able to unbox it or make a video of it because uh, when it got delivered, uh, I only got two boxes originally and uh, I didn't get the third. It comes in three separate boxes. The base has its own uh, box, the legs, the torso have its own box, and then the arms and the head and the other little bits and pieces have their third box just for those. Um, but as I said, when I got it, I only got the first two boxes and I didn't get the base so I didn't want to open it prematurely with missing pieces and, and stuff. So I, uh, I waited a few more days, the base got stuck in customs, and I just got it yesterday, so time to unbox. And uh, man, is this thing too cool for words. Um, it is massive, it is heavy, it's got detail everywhere. I mean, you can look at this for hours, <laughs> like literally, there's stuff to look at everywhere. I've already been looking at it for an hour, and I still see new things that I didn't see the first time, so it, it's a amazing amazing piece it's just it's incredible this is prime one's uh first entry to the transformers line they started with this piece then they uh they came out with uh, optimus prime then uh, starscream just uh went up recently and then bumblebee is coming out next but uh amazing piece i got uh, optimus on pre-order actually the uh, exclusive um, I didn't originally have it on pre-order. I thought it was actually going to be around for a while, like this piece, and then ended up selling out in like 24 hours, so I missed it, got on the wait list, and uh, converted a few months ago. So, we're all good. We got Optimus. I'm going to pair him with this guy. And after seeing the quality and the detail on this piece, I can't wait to see what they do with Optimus. amazing piece and holy fuck guys this this thing comes in a million parts like everything that you see comes off in some form or another like it, it's insane even the parts have parts i couldn't like i opened up the third box or was it was it the third or the first box the one the smallest box and um i opened it and you know there was just a few parts in it i put them on i'm like okay that wasn't so bad and uh, then I went back to the statue and I saw holes and stuff with magnets in them still open. And I'm like, what? Am I missing parts here? What's going on? So I went back to that box. And then on the flip side of that box, there's even more parts under that. And I'm like, holy shit, this, it doesn't end. You know, there's parts everywhere. There's like these pieces here come off. Uh, his head, these shoulder pads come off. So... It, Definitely some assembly required, <laughs> okay? But uh, once it's all together, damn, it's it's just too cool. Very, very cool. Base is massive. Base is 24 inches in diameter, for those of you curious how big this thing is. It's bigger than most wheels on cars, <laughs> okay? It's, it's just insane. And some people don't like the... Uh, don't like the base. Oh, we've got some flaring going on. I don't like the base or the size of the base that goes with this piece. I don't see why not. This thing, it looks epic with this base. Look at that. That just, that just screams badass. I don't know how you can display it without the base. Well, unless you got space issues, then I can understand. But it needs the base. I love it with this base. Very cool. Very fitting. detail everywhere. The paint application is amazing. They definitely uh, had people paying attention to what they were doing here. Unlike Apocalypse that I got in a few days ago. But uh, I don't want to open up that wound just yet. Amazing. I mean, it, it's wide. It's extremely wide. Got these awesome uh, jetpacks back here. His eyes do light up. 
Um, I haven't actually tried it yet because the little battery compartment, it's got like little watch batteries you stick in his neck portion, but it's got uh, a little compartment in the back that you have to unscrew to put the batteries in. And I don't have a screwdriver small enough to open it right now, so I will get to that later and post pictures. I don't even know if the lights work yet, but hopefully they do. Um, piece comes with a switch out arm as well, right arm with a cannon, which I'm going to show you right now. Let me back up a little. Um, and I'll be honest, I the, the cannon that it comes with actually makes me a little nervous because it's solid polystone, it's extremely heavy, um, and it sits far out from his body, which makes it you know, the center of gravity off a little bit. So, and there's a magnet I'll show you in a second in the cannon, which I don't think actually serves a purpose. It's so heavy, I think just friction alone holds it into the uh, joint here. This is it here. Fucking huge. This piece comes out as well. It's got a this is even in the camera. Yes, it is. Okay, so this piece comes out. It's got another longer piece. Um, where did I put it? Over here. Right here, which goes in there. So now it's like, look at that compared to his body. It's like the, almost the length of his body, and that's just his cannon. It's insane. But anyway. It goes in here, into his joint here, and uh, as I said, it's got a magnet there, but as soon as you let go, it kind of falls a little bit, right? And I think friction alone, like I said, is holding that in place, so it's... It'll make you nervous <laughs> if you got it displayed with the, uh, with the cannon. At least it's making me nervous. Like, look at how far that sticks out from his body. It's far, and, and again, it's way heavy. So I don't know, if you knock this thing the wrong way, it could fall out. And personally, I'm not crazy about the cannon look here. Um, to me, it looks like a giant crab claw, <laughs> if you look at it from the side. Um, I prefer him with his arms and hands, or fingers or claws, or whatever the hell you call those things. It's cool, don't get me wrong, it looks cool, but uh, I don't know, I wish they, uh, they made that piece a little lighter or found a way to make it a little more secure because that's, uh, that's something waiting to happen for sure. Let me just switch it back out because it's already making me nervous. See, like I don't even have to put any force to pull it out, you just kind of move it a little bit and it falls out, so... I don't know. It's cool though. But this is the way I prefer to display. It actually saves a little bit of space since you don't have to have it sticking out so far. But amazing piece nonetheless. Very big, very heavy. I'm gonna get in a little closer here and show you some of the, uh, the details in it. The weathering on it, very well done. Especially in the gears and stuff here, like inside the uh, inside the feet here. Very cool. The face has a lot of detail in it. I don't know if you can see that. Like his teeth, his eyes there. I don't know why they designed these guys to have eyelids. <laughs> you can kind of see them there. Like, why would a robot need to blink? I don't get it. But, whatever. They're there. Got this cool... Looks like hieroglyphics on it. It's all over the piece, too. It's on his, the back of his leg here, too. Overall, it's amazing. Like, I mean, it's got presence and then some. Like, look at that. It's huge. I 
I recently saw the, uh, the latest installment to the franchise here, the uh, Age of Extinction. And say what you guys say, or want to say about the movie, I actually enjoyed it. Um, and I actually like Bay's other Transformers movies. It's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine, I'm happy to admit. <laughs> because, uh, you know, I love action, I love explosions, unlike uh, everybody keeps criticizing Bay for. But, you know, it's entertaining, I gotta say. And uh, I like the new installment. I like the new bad guy. The guy that was uh, the Lambo, the Lamborghini, the, the Ventador there. What the hell's his name? Uh, Grimlock, something lock. Deathlock, I don't know. But uh, he was an awesome villain in the movie. Hope Prime 1 does uh, a statue of him, because that'd be sweet to add to this. But, uh, yeah, after seeing this, like I said, I can't wait to see what they do with Optimus. He's got a bunch of light-up features, too, on his chest and stuff. I hope that comes out okay. I know electronics always make me nervous because you don't know what's going to happen, but... So far, so good for, uh, for Prime One's first installment here. They did a fantastic job. Glad they got it. This just actually recently sold out, so if you're looking to get it, get it. Um, I got this from uh, Secret Compass. Uh, Shane's a terrific guy to deal with. I've been buying a lot of my pieces from him. And uh, I got this from Shane, along with a lot of my legendary scale pieces, actually. And, um, you know, if you're looking for this piece, hit him up. See if he's got any left, because it's, it's awesome. You'll love it. So, that's it, guys. Um, just wanted to make a quick review here to show you guys how epically cool this piece is. Uh, I got a few other movies and reviews to do. I got Sauron in the other day from Secret Compass, a replacement actually, and Apocalypse from Sideshow, which again, I don't wanna talk about that right now because I'm still unhappy with how that turned out, but uh, I'll make a review on it eventually and uh, we'll go over what happened with that. It's too bad too, because it was a fantastic sculpt and it was one of the most anticipated pieces I had not looking too good so far, but this uh, compensated quite well for me. Definitely made my day. I love this piece. Haven't stopped looking at it since I opened it. But uh, I'll probably keep looking at it right after I make this video too. So that's it, guys. Thanks for coming back and checking out this review. Uh, look for my other ones. I'll be doing them later on today. Or tomorrow, this week, maybe. And uh, that's it. Take care. Thanks for looking.